Hello and welcome everybody. I'm Christian from Berlin and I found out that I have something that other blues channels do not have. A German accent. No, kidding. A playlist with blues lessons in other keys than C. So if you want to learn an E, D, A, B flat, F, whatever, go there. Now let's explore this great uh, minor key for blues piano. Enjoy. As usual, I will also um, suggest another form we can play. You all know there are different uh, forms for blues in minor. There's 12 bar and blues in minor. You go to my um, tutorial about the different minor blues forms and everything we can play. It's linked, it's linked in the description box, the different uh, minor blues forms. Um, and everything we, you learn here you can play also over the other forms because we are dealing with mainly blue scale material. We start, of course, you guessed it already, with D minor. <laughs> I know you're smart people. So we are... Look at my left hand first. To, uh, to the right I just played the D minor blue scale, I'll show you in a minute. C in the bass, D minor with C in the bass, then we have the D minor with B in the bass, which you can also um, call the, uh, the B half diminished, because we have two minor thirds and a minor seven is called the B half diminished. And then we, do, we repeat that and then we do in the end we do resolving from the B flat 7 to the A7 which is the 5 of um, D of course and then we go back to D now first show, showing you how how this works totally fine uh, on any other uh, minor blues form I'll just play the same D minor then let's say G minor A7 G minor You see? Let's see, we first play a little bit, you start with this just to get warm with the, um, with the chord you just play. And there we play, after we repeated this twice, we play the B flat 7. And then in the end we play the A7, the dominant, uh, the 5. Just gotta quickly get out my tea bag, otherwise again I'm doing suicide from the um, too strong uh, gray tea. Imagine those headlines on CNN or whatever you watch. Famous YouTube bluser, blues YouTuber, dies in front of running camera because of Earl Grey tea poisoning. No, that's not, that's really pretty dark. Okay, so you are now uh, settled with the blues scale, you have the blues scale, and uh, with the chord progression you feel safe now. So we can do something again, uh, just, you know, we, just with the blues scale and with the drone lick, we are all set to produce some really emotionally touching stuff. And let's have a look at this. This is a, is a central major lick. You can play in A, in D, and 
even in E, because E has the same architecture. See, of everything you play here, you can move parallel to E or to A. Now, let's have a look. What was that? Uh huh. You play just start the blues scale. And you play the, uh, this clash between the uh, 4 and the flat 5. Uh -huh. And it sounds even a little bit more intense. If we continue the drone effect, the popular drone effect, tutorial now with drone effect. That should be a seller, selling point. This now you now know the, the drone lick in, in in D minor, which we can also expand to the D to the A like here. We will meet that a little bit later again. Very important central element. So now you know the blue scale and the drone lick. Drone lick is nothing else than playing the blue scale here, always with the uh, droning D on top. Like it's just blue scale notes here moving up below the D. Within that drone lick, there a lot can happen, as you know. Yeah, these are all there. Are many, many tricks with the drone lick. Okay. Beautiful sound. Huh? We have this little uh, following up from the uh, Candy Mountains in black. The, uh, the charcoal mountains and down in the white snowy valley. Usually it's the opposite around. We have the snow on top and then, uh, but this is music. Uh, this is poetry. In poetry this can happen. We have the black mountains up and down in the snowy valley. Okay, can you play this already? Make sure the, uh, the D hits the uh, full beat yeah, not like uh, but, uh, uh, so this is rush that this is not rushing you. Okay, I assume you're a little bit um, above uh, easy when you want to play in D because otherwise you would be a C player. So everybody who plays in D already played some blues and so for you this might be just right. Okay, now my lifesaver. Okay. A great famous he played his um, famous blues piano player from the 1600, 16, 1700, 17th century, I mean, um, and he loved to play in D. So, okay, now we have, uh, we know already that again we can do some tricks uh, we, just with the blues scale, and we can do that also from the top. Listen to this. Ooh. what I did here. Great stuff. Again, remember this thing here. Sometimes if it's if push comes to shove, you can play it also in fast blues uh, together. It clashes more, but also the upward power slide, the Berlin upward power slide to the Charcoal Mountain uh, summit. So, great. Two new elements for a great blues piano. In D is, we have, you see, I gave it a rhythmic, uh, different dress, as I like to call it. Now, uh, hold on. Yes, and this bit here. Do you know what the difference was between the drone lick I played before? Here. 
Now listen to this. Yes, I droned the C. The C was now the drone. We have D, D drone and C drone. The minor seven as the drone here. Okay. So we have bum ba da la ba da bum ba ba. And then maybe um. <laughs> you see, same thing, just with D. Another important weapon in in the fight for a great sound. Always an emotional sound with the seven or with the eight. Now seven. play this, this 7th drone, or the 8th, uh, the, the C drone, over the resolution from B flat 7 to A7. Let's see if that sounds also good with the D drone over the B flat 7. Oh, fantastic sound. Christian, you are a master. No, I'm not, because everything is just stolen. I'm just a good thief. I'm a good thief. Yeah, that you can call me. Foxes. I'm a fox. They steal things, they steal geese from the farm next door. Okay, so this is all stolen from the farm next door. Um, um, and we can play that over A7 or even over, over G minor. That ain't, ain't a great blues sound. And you would have your first whiskey on the piano. Maybe not the best, but already medium quality uh, whiskey from the discounter. Um, okay, now you see you already have quite a lot. And you do, you do that um, uh, up here uh, and down here. And you can fill a full solo just with this stuff. We have this fill, this fall. Here we come to the next emotion burner. We want to burn the emotion into the listener. And we do this also. Yeah, that's quite rechargy. Oh, you got the gig definitely. And the next better whiskey is coming next level. Maybe it's already a Johnny Walker red label. Now, okay, what did, what did I do here? Great sound for, for a very important sound for um, uh, blues and minor. Yeah. Hey, it's just, uh, this is just chord note. Up to here, with a little slide here. And we use the, um, we are on the minor third, and we use the, uh, uh, the minor third down. The minor third uh, being first is the minor third of D, is the F, and we use the next third downwards as the rhythmical counter player, the antagonist, if you want so. Works, works like a charm. And, and it's even more powerful. elements, just these three elements. You see? And D. Just what do we have now? We have blue scale. We have a, uh, we just use, we used one drone lid. We used the, um, like the, uh, a kind of a power generator also. Usually I call this the power generator like, but this is the minor. It's kind of the minor blues power generator. It's great if you um, can uh, play this a little bit freely, rhythmically. It's not counted, it's just... Ooh. 
octave, hit sometimes the octave. It's, that is sometimes you should um, also learn. It's not just the notes, it's also how you play them. Like sometimes you just have to hit it. And this is the, um, this is the biggest problem for uh, many students, just to hit it. Like, yeah, I missed it. See, but I, anyway, I, I had the courage to hammer it down. And I have um, seen many students and I said like, hammer it, George. Just hammer it down on the F. And say, like, okay, now I really do. Like a banker with banker type, uh, you know, he's a great guy. I said, let it out, George, let it out. Like whip it down. And he, yeah, now I'm gonna do it. I play the blues, I play the blues. I got it now, I understood it. And yeah, I go, okay, hit it. And he was like, yeah, hit it. And he did it like this. You know, he was, until he, and he was like this. So, yeah, observe yourself. Uh, can you really hit it? You know, it doesn't matter if you if you miss a note. The thing is, you got to have the courage to let the freight train of your lower limbs, in this case, the lower arm, um, fall. The, uh, it's not muscle power. It's like your arm weighs about, depending on your weight. Let's say um, your lower arm weighs, let's say five kilogram. It's a lot if you just let uh, let um, if you just let gravity do its work. And for one note, you can dare it. If you want to, that needs more, that needs practice, but just like this. Hit it, baby, and don't, don't care if, the, if you like uh, uh, squash in another note. Hey, it's blues. It's not rocket science. So, okay, where were we? Ah, yeah, and I, I showed you just something else. Um, and that, this is a great, 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 great um, slow blues emotion trigger. You listen to this. What did I do? Yeah, before I just played the third. Whoa, okay, let's go step by step. We have the, the, the trick with the minor third here, and this one in between. <coughs> this is also part of the blue scale, of course, it's permitted. Or. And. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so, and now comes, if you're a little bit better, follow me, um, please follow me, just trust me. Magnificent sound in slow blues, and here, yes, here it's getting a little bit harder, but put your, uh, put your fifth uh, and first finger on the, on the A flat. You got it? You got it? Now, okay, here. And now just a little bit slide down on the A here. Yeah, get a feeling that you can basically here is look look at this. Mmm, you can slide down here. Imagine the finger is a little kid on a sleigh, uh, or called sledge, sleigh. Anyway, it's a little kid. That is you, and you just go from the uh, you you uh, slide down on the beautiful coal dust of the coal mounds here, here, and you do that with two fingers. Do it with me. Like get this little, get a feeling for that little thing here, for that you slide down both kids here and here. So, and then it's worth it. It's worth practicing. And then when you get a feeling from this, then you do, you do a fast slide with the fingers. Like, you know, it's a uh, charcoal mountains and when it's freezing, cold is getting really um, slippery. And, uh, and you do this. And then when you get a little bit more control, then you do this, and you do this every day, 20 seconds. And then after a week, you can play this. And you have a great, it takes a little bit of a routine, but start, as I said, you gotta get a feeling for this little, um, uh, for this little ice track here, the coal ice track, famous coal ice track. So, okay, and then we have something really beautiful. You can start slowly.
Dave. You can use this uh, the swing between this aggressive octave thing again dare to hit it like a banker now now tip for the dominant that's always working in major blues or minor blues um, going if you come it doesn't matter if you come from the b flat seven or from the g minor seven when you're on the a it's always uh, like dominant always great a great sound and a typical blues sound everybody will like uh, recognize you as a uh, you know uh, an old as we say an old rabbit in the trade here yeah, from the just from the a7 down to the seven So, and then you want to do uh, maybe fast uh, runs with the, like. Uh, and I would suggest you is uh, uh, a run that is not just down. Basically, this would be just uh, the uh, normal. It sounds great if you start the run down with the blue scale. With the fourth finger here. Then to put on the uh, the second finger here, and the fourth again. See the uh, the uh, the black mountain is stretching its neck out to a weak fourth finger. I'm not showing you my fourth finger close because fingernails are a little bit too long for a piano player. So second, and then you do it in triplets first. Then. But this is hard. This is the, the, the second one is tougher because you have to do the oversetting on the fast sixteenth. Okay, so uh, uh, um, then this will be the next step. Yeah. Uh. We have to do this little tail in the end that it fits into the bar structure. And what we learned already. Here. And so on. Now, another uh, run. Hold on, how, how did I play this? Let, let me just check again. It seems to be a nice sequence. Okay. That's how we start. Then we are here. Um, again. First, with ju we just do it on, the, on no difficulties in the left, and we just start with the D minor chord. And then we're here, then... And then we are here. Like like we were here already, you know, remember? Yeah? And it fits perfectly into the bar structure. Lovely, I'm surprised myself. And now... Fantastic! And now comes uh, uh, the last beautiful in uh, thing for you in... Uh, it's a little bit uh, also for, of this level. 
but it's a great sound. This is a great sound and the one, uh, no, I'll show you now is a great sound. You might have learned all of this also in my previous lessons. Subscribe and you learn the, the deep Berlin original authentic Berlin blues sound. As you know, um, the blues was invented in Berlin. Um, in exactly 1648 by Ernst Michael Michael Ernst Michael Fuchs that was my great 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 grandfather so my, my facts matter facts matter we know nowadays facts matter even more and this is this sound here we have this slide again it's a slide with a third finger um, yeah give you if this is your um, oh, I was just about to say if this was your kid, give it a little slap from the right side. But this is quite uh, unprogressive to say these nowadays. A hundred years ago, I could have said that. Okay, if this is, um, anyway, uh, if this is, what could this be? Dog? No, we don't do that with dogs either. Uh, well, give this a, it's a black stone. <laughs> and you give it a slap and you, by chance you slip. Um, and this is a great sound together with the drone thing. C drone or D drone? Yeah, but this is a little bit harder. The span here might give you a little bit of headache or hand ache to be more precise. <clears throat> so we have this here. Practice that. Again, you just uh, imagine this is the cold mountain and you slip down, but this time not to the right, but to the left. And get a feeling for this little thingy. Imagine it's something erotic here that you're trying to explore, um, that you really get sensitive for this. Um, and then here and then you do it like this and then we have a whole new great sound it's really worthwhile like yeah can you can you tell drone lick it has a very suffering sound which is the purpose of the blues yeah and you can do it up, uh, we slide up, we slide down. <laughs> it's a pro line. It's a pro line. From here, they come with a Johnny Walker Black Label or even with malt whiskey, single malt. Um, but you gotta play this level more than, let's say, half an hour. Then they, if they have single malt. The joints I played, they didn't have that. They had like red label and tap water and maybe um coca-cola sherry okay now okay let's see let's see oh d octave d drone Here, you remember this one? And now, yes, see, I even missed an I don't mind. It's a free world, especially in blues. Here. Blue scale down in octaves. Once you have this uh, in your system, the octave span, uh, which I know students can learn that easily. The octave is uh, sounds great, but it's, uh, it's relatively easy once you figure out this uh, the width the um, like the span and then you just okay Christian, come on. Yeah, that's a nice one, a nice uh, one chord of the of a minor. It's a six. 
surprisingly sophisticated Sovereign Blues with the major six. Yeah, so you can. That's the line we learned. I'm surprised by myself. What did I play here? It's the D. That's great. We have the D, the minor third, the fifth, the minor third, the sixth, the nine, and the fifth. Whoo! Well, now they bring in the uh, uh, last bottle. They have the fine bottle. Uh, it's the, uh, the single mold uh, from a lost island in Ireland. It's not produced anymore. Okay. And then, of course, you said, no, thanks. Don't drink and improvise. Don't drink and drive. I'm off. Thank you very much. Nice, for, nice offer. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, and uh, hope to hopefully see you in my next tutorial. Subscribe. I said that already. Yeah? Nah, you shouldn't let us say, I take that back. You shouldn't, let, uh, you shouldn't get on the nerves of the, um, of the uh, watcher, the, uh, the, 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 the audience. If you say that three times, then they just, you know, said, here. Uh, so please subscribe, everybody. Bye.